In 2016, Hillary Clinton was on track to be America's first female president. But she lost, and since then, the Clinton brand hasn't been the same. Now, a new documentary series could be Clinton's chance for a reset. What does she have to say, and why now? I took a class, and I saw Hillary sitting there. And he was watching me. She closed her law book. I said, if you're going to keep looking at me, and I'm going to keep looking back, we ought to know each other's names. I'm Hillary Rodham. Who are you? That's a clip from Hillary, a new doc series premiering at the Sundance Festival, where Clinton not only handed over reams of video, but gets very emotional, clearly giving up on the stoic image she'd cultivated for so long. Husband Bill, well, he does his bit too. It wasn't like I thought, how yeah, can I think about the most stupid thing I could possibly do and do it? I didn't want anything to do with him. But the part that's got everyone talking, Clinton bashes Bernie Sanders in the film, claiming nobody likes him, nobody wants to work with him, he got nothing done. Secretary Clinton, as you know, said that uh, as a senator, you got nothing done and that no one likes you. What's your response to that? Well, on a good day, my wife likes me, so let's, let's clear the air on that one. Clinton responded on Twitter, writing, I thought everyone wanted my authentic, unvarnished views. So what is she up to, and why now? Does her brand need a reboot in the wake of her defeat by Trump? A lot of people seek fame and fortune after leaving the White House. So what did she do? Well, her book, What Happened, sold less than half a million copies, while Michelle Obama sold nearly 10 million. Then there's her tour with husband Bill, an evening with the Clintons. But not many people showed up. The New York Times called it curtains for the Clintons. And according to Newsweek, Hillary's speaking fees have dropped significantly from an estimated 300,000 a pop to as little as 25,000. A Clinton spokesperson disputed those figures. Meanwhile, tickets to see Barack Obama in Toronto this week have sold out at $300 each. And the Obama's deal with Netflix earned them an Oscar nomination. You want to make a difference, you want to have an impact. Well then, you got to get in the arena. So is Hillary's documentary her big shot to star in a second act? Joining me now is Phil Elliott, who's been covering Clinton for years as a Washington correspondent, now for Time magazine. So, Phil, this is so interesting. Here's a person who wanted to be president. Everybody was begging her to show her real self. Now she is, only when she has no chance of being president. Yeah, w the, welcome to the paradox of Hillary Clinton, uh, that she's finally doing what people have told her to do for 40 years, and she's getting flack for it. There, there really is a no-win proposition for Hillary Clinton, that had she done this in 2016, everyone would have been, oh, you're just manufacturing this persona. We get too little of the candidates after they're no longer candidates, but had we gotten them in real time while they were candidates, we would have just considered it a gimmick. Uh, we have just become so hardened and cynical uh, and expecting the worst from our political candidates that really this is what happens and it's 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 the self-fulfilling cycle um, but and, maybe and, I'm just cynical because I'm I'm thinking wow she's not making nearly as much money as she used <laughs> to make on the speech circuit or she's settling a political score I mean the Clintons are kind of famous for for that oh don't get me wrong after the 2008 campaign there was a notebook that was created of everyone who either real or perceived uh, committed a wrong against the Clintons, and they, went, they, they kept score. Uh, you're not wrong in this, that the Clintons do have a, have a ledger, um, and they, they, enact, they enact justice to their mind on uh, whether people are owed favors or penalties. The, there will always be interest in Hillary Clinton, though. Um, she might be making $30,000 a speech now, uh, and that might be discounted from what she used to be. That's still a lot of money. Yeah, also. The Clintons don't need, the Clintons don't need a ton of money. They, they're, they're pretty well set for life. So does she um, just need a headline? Is that what, it, what it's about? Or reestablishing a legacy? I don't know. I think the, in doing this documentary and doing the press around it, um, obviously premiering at Sundance, um, there is a second life here. There's been a lot of criticism of her seeming to bash uh, Bernie Sanders. Why, why would she do that? The honest answer is this is what Hillary Clinton thinks. Uh, Hillary Clinton has never really, um, she never will get over the 2016 race. It was a devastating loss for her. It was unexpected. She put it, her all in it. She left nothing on the table there. Um, 
And then you have to wonder, how much did Bernie Sanders, um, how did his handling of his tepid endorsement, his conduct at the convention, he basically disappeared for months and wrote a book to get rich um, while she was out there trying to repair the Democratic Party. There are a lot of what ifs in Hillary's mind. What do you think of the timing of this? Is there something in why this has come out like just before the, the Iowa vote? Well, the timing here works in favor of the filmmakers a lot. The Iowa caucuses take place February 3rd. All eyes are going to be on the, the lead-off caucuses to our political calendar. New Hampshire follows a week later on, on February. Uh, it, so attention is going to be paid on this. You can see how the, the, the cat and mouse play between the headlines unfolding in the, the 2020 election um, are, are being broadcast and how uh, the excerpts from this documentary series are going to be released. It really is great timing for these documentary, uh, the documentary team. And it's also pretty good for Hillary Clinton here that even in absentia, she is able to drive headlines in a Democratic primary that she chose to set out, sit out this time. Thanks so much, Phil. Phil Elliott in Washington.